I hate when people say poverty and like the crime and like the issues surrounding the black community are cultural. I keep hearing this from other Americans as if white culture, white people are not part of black culture. <laughs> Jasmine again and welcome to the best day of my life. I have thought about making this video for the past two years so it has been two years since I made a video in response to a youtuber named Nobita um, who thought that they had enough information about black people to make videos about black people when in reality they don't really have that much experience around black people or even living in a westernized um, country. So I made a video addressing his points because I thought there are a lot of people being swayed by his information. There's a lot of quotations already. But there were a lot of people being swayed by his information when uh, he was doing a really lazy journalism job. And I spoke to him um, personally about this and then yeah, I will explain maybe in this video a little bit more about what happened after that video. But long story short, today I will be responding to some of the comments that I received from one of my most watched videos in regards to Novita. But before we get into it, please do not forget to like, please like this video, like it. This video has been a long time coming and so many people, so many of you have asked me to do this video and I haven't done it until now. So please hit that like button and also if you are not already subscribed, you can subscribe. Also if you would like to know anything related to in light ties, what's happening, discounts, opportunities please sign up to my free email newsletter there is a link in the description box below so without further ado I have my computer here and I saved some of the comments that people have written on that video and I don't even I don't think I like completely read everything to be honest because I wanted it to be like um, just like me reacting to the comments uh, like immediately and then you guys get to hear what I have to say about it um, so I just have some random comments up here and let's just get into it. So the first one is from Paul Vanish, who says, Boo, you're a racialist. You completely misunderstood Nobita and the message behind his video videos. You were making you are making core excuses and black centric arguments. Listen to Nobita and move on. Your grandma is old. Move on. You are not your grandma. Nobody alive lived under slavery. Just stop. Thumbs down, bad video, typical racialist making postmodernist excuses. This is actually pretty funny. Let's dissect this, this message. So I'm a racialist, yo, okay, whatever. Uh, if I'm a racialist, like the reason why I responded was because of Novita making like racialist uh, comments. So whatever. You're making poor excuses, black centric arguments. I'm black. So like all of my opinions is going to come from a black view, by the way. Listen to Nobi to move on. This is another reason why I didn't want to make this video. I hate when people just follow someone because they're maybe like charming or um, yeah, they just like their personality or something like that or something just makes sense and it makes sense to them so they don't even challenge the idea. I cannot stand that. And no offense, but maybe a little. Uh, this person seems like this type uh, who just like listens to Novita. Just listen, don't, don't, don't argue about what he has to say. Just listen and accept it. Um, your grandma is old, that's rude. Um, my grandma's getting up there in age. She has Alzheimer's right now. Um, but she still like if you ask her certain questions she knows like bits and pieces of like her memory and stuff like that but she kind of forgets who I am if you ask her about her past and stuff like that she can tell you like stories about what has happened in her past and uh, it's just like the connection like uh, she'll like lose focus after that story is finished and then yeah maybe she'll repeat it over and over but yeah like that's rude don't talk about my grandma you are not your grandma no i'm not but i am uh being that my grandma helped to raise me i'm a product of her experiences as well but it's not so that like my grandma was trying to instill in me just like oh yeah remember all this like racism stuff no my grandma just tells me about her her stories like her history like her childhood and everything and then certain things that she could not do because of certain inconveniences um, yeah, just stop. Thumbs down. Bad video. Typical racialist making whatever. Thank you for your views. I appreciate that. Okay, let's move into the next one. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? This one is so long. Okay, this one is from Kevin Love. I hope 
Like, I should be okay. Like, if you posted the comment on Facebook, I can say your name. I understand your intention, but I don't believe that justifying the prevalence of the issues which Novita commented on concerning the black community is in the best interest of black people. I am black. I grew up in the ghettos of Detroit, and I agree that the biggest problem in the black community is victim mentality. Oh my god, this is like so long. Okay, so I'm gonna break down this comment. This issue is so big, so it's kind of difficult for me to like concentrate on one issue of like uh, racism in America, in the US, worldwide. <laughs> Um, without connecting it to some other reason because like this crap has been happening for so many years like hundreds of years like slavery Jim Crow laws just like all this stuff has been happening uh, for so many years that it kind of leads to the next thing okay so let me just summarize what this guy said so he thinks that the biggest problem in the black community is victim mentality and he thinks it's because people aren't um, taking like personal responsibility to like better the black community this I disagree with so I don't think victim mentality is any more prevalent in the black community compared to any other community uh, victim mentality can be found anywhere and I think saying victim mentality uh, especially if you're not black like this guy there's a black picture but especially if you're not black I think victim mentality like saying black people have victim mentality is a scapegoat for not understanding the issues that have put black people in the positions where they are redlining um, uh, Jim Crow laws um, just like so many different parts uh, not policing the police um, so many different uh, destroying um, Black Wall Street like there's so many issues that have played a part in uh, getting America to where it is today where many racial injustices uh, can be swept under the rug and and um, not called out for what it is racism so I don't think it's victim mentality. I think it's because of these situations that have put a lot of black Americans in the US in these positions where they cannot leave these poor neighborhoods that have like little education because of redlining. Um, it kind of, it makes people to think like in a bubble kind of. Uh, this is like what I meant in my original video. It's just like if you don't see something as possible, how do you know it exists? So I'm not saying that I'm any better than um, the people who like I grew up with when I would go to my grandma's house in the summer in the city and like she would force us to play with the other city kids. Um, but like those kids where they are today, I'm not like I'm not saying like one position is better than the other. Well, maybe, I don't know. But like where those kids are now, they got pregnant when they were teenagers or they started doing drugs to sell. Meanwhile, my family, my grandmother, like she would take us to like Washington DC to the opera house. We would have to be in operas. We would have to learn how to play the piano. She would give us homework assignments. My grandmother was always taking us out of the city, out of the like boarded up houses. We found like bloody knives and needles, like uh, syringes, like on the streets and everything. My grandmother and my parents, they were always taking us out of these situations. Like, of course, we would have to come home but until my, my mom, like uh, she was working three jobs to get us out of this position. But yeah, of course, we would have to come back home to this. But like, I was really lucky in that like, the people around me were so adamant about getting uh, me and my sister to see so much more. And I really think that if it wasn't because of my family that got me out of that environment, I probably would be in the same position as the majority of like the city kids that like we played with or the ones that were just are still living in the city today so i don't think it's victim mentality it's a chain of events that keeps black people in these positions where they can't see the path to success i'm not saying like they're all ignorant or anything like that i'm just saying like because of redlining for instance this is one issue because of redlining that doesn't um like the property values of the houses it keeps like it doesn't fund the education in these areas it keeps these people like in this mindset where they cannot really obtain the education. The American education, public education is shit. But like aside from that, but like they cannot see the path to getting out of the situation. And even if they graduate from these like schools, these public schools, usually these public schools are not up to par to any other public schools in like better or well off areas. So how are, what is the path to success for them? And how are they able to learn this? path okay let's move into the next comment so the next comment is from Zach Schoberg 
who says, to Nabita's point, there are successful black people in every aspect of modern society. Why reach into the past for trouble when the future looks bright? Your grandmother can complain, but young people, young black people sh today should move forward. Like Obama said, issues surrounding the black community are cultural due to poverty, not racist due to the color of someone's skin. I don't know how this person got the impression that I meant that like, uh, there are no black people, successful black people. That's not what I meant at all in that video. And if that's what people got like that's not what i meant um yes like i do believe in looking towards the future but it's it's stupid to like forget that the past exists and it's stupid in my opinion it's really stupid to think that the world we're all starting at the same um finish line or starting line it that no we're not certain people have certain uh limitations from the past your grandmother can complain like i don't understand why are people saying that my grandmother complained literally i've never heard my grandmother complain in my entire life about racism about anything anything so my grandmother i made a video about it like a long time ago but my grandmother is the reason why i wanted to learn so many languages why i wanted to travel the world my grandmother is so strong like you guys have no idea she's so strong she's independent she has never complained if there is a problem she's gonna fix it or she's gonna pivot away around it my grandmother is like crazy strong both my grandmothers uh, i have only one grandmother now but like the one who's like a world traveler and stuff like she's still alive she has alzheimer's again she, like she doesn't really remember me but like yeah you guys have no idea so like to say like my grandmother couldn't complain like no she's never complained about racism at all young black people today should move forward like obama said oh god um yeah, like I think like there's that's the only option, right? We are moving forward, but we have to clarify some issues, some wrongdoings that have put black people in the position that they currently are. Um, like poverty and crime. <laughs> Like, it's not a laughing issue. But yeah, I think we have to address um, what has happened to black people in order for black people to have an almost like an even starting ground in the future. I hate when people say poverty and like the crime and like the issues surrounding the black community are cultural. I keep hearing this from other Americans as if white culture, white people are not part of black culture. This frustrates me because it's just like, oh, yep, that's all them. That's all them. Like, I don't know why they're like that. Like, where are other black people like this in other countries? Like, I have not seen it. Like, you can prove me wrong. I'm always open to being proven wrong. A lot of black history in America was built on surviving white people and being like treated inferiorly. For example, like soul food. Soul food is not healthy food. Why do we have soul food? Soul food will kill you. <laughs> soul food was just built off of like uh, making something edible or something like tasty off of the scraps of what was giving to black people. There's all so much black culture black history that was just built off of just like how can we survive and so for people to say just like this is a cultural thing this is a black cultural thing a black cultural issue they have to figure this out it's just like no like we as americans as americans like all americans black americans asian americans indian americans all of us americans this is an issue all of us have to fix because of the historical um context like what has happened to black people this is everyone's issue in America. So like, I cannot stand when people say just like, this is a black cultural issue due to poverty. Yeah, no. Okay, so let's go into this next comment. Is this video getting too long? Do you guys mind? Okay, let's just do a few more. So this next comment says, a few problems currently in America, the racism from whites is at the lowest point it's been in a while, but it is on the rise. Let me tell you why white people hate identity politics and black people telling white people he should feel bad for what people white people did way before we were even born. It makes young white men like me start to dislike being around black people when they blame every tiny downside to their life on me. It's fucking ridiculous and racist. Who was it once said that one day my children and their children will not be judged for the color of their skin but the content of their character? But young white people are constantly being mocked for being white or having our views mean less because we are white. <laughs> to me, this sounds like white guilt. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. The huge issue is the system that has allowed, uh, like for example, police officers to get away with um, targeting black people or like systems such as redlining that have allowed it so that black 
people, it's very difficult for them to get out of communities and move and to get uh, seek better education for their kids and stuff like this. This person is just taking it personally. And this is white guilt to me. Next one, uh, Jason Delgado says, does anyone consider the fact that arguments are lost in translation for him? Okay, this is a good point, Jason. No matter if you're speaking a language that is not your first language and you keep saying the same thing over and over and over, but in different words, I think he really thinks these things. After a few of his videos, like I emailed him privately and like, just mind blown. But um, we were just like going back and forth and I kind of led, uh, him to asking me to be in, in his video and um, I said yeah sure there was a two other girls who made videos similar to mine so I asked him like hey can I invite these two girls and he said sure so what you guys do not know is that Nobita posted one of the videos so the the session was really long it was a two-part video so Nobita posted one of the videos where we were talking to him about his what he has said in his uh, in his videos and why they're so problematic. After we recorded the video with Nobita, we had lunch with me and the other two girls. It was like Sunny Usachan and the other one, I think her name was like Rose or something. She was really sweet. But um, afterwards we got food and we were discussing, we we're just like, do you really think Nobita is going to release the video? Because it kind of looks bad in it. Because like every time we he brought up like an issue and we would describe like we would explain why what he's saying is so problematic he would keep like switching like he would never stay on topic and just defend his point because his points are all flawed they're all based on some fake statistics or like some someone's opinion um on like a journal or website that he saw somewhere and so he kept like he he could not stand his ground on one issue not one issue and so like we were discussing, we we're just like, do you really think he's going to release this? And we we're just like, I don't know. And so he released the first part of the video, but he never released the second part of the video. And in the end, he took down, I think just like all of the uh, videos on black people. In regards to this comment, yes, the fact that uh, like meanings or whatever has been lost in translation, it did cross my mind at least. And that is precisely why in that video with him, I had him define, I was like basically playing stupid on purpose so he can define everything and we can start from the ground up, but he didn't do a really good job at that. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here because these comments are starting to repeat themselves. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. There are so many other comments on that video. So if you would like me to make another video like this, please let me know in the comment section. Also just recently, I released a new book. It's a 30 day journal that helps you focus your goals and has fun activities. Every day there's a different activity for you to do to help you make every day the best day of your life and just kick ass every single day. You can check it out. There's a link in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you guys again next time, okay? Bye!